let's start by discussing what happens right after you've crammed the wash full of dirty underwear. You see, before our clothes can even see the super sudsing action they so desperately need, we have to choose how to wash them. While every model of washer is different, you'll usually see things like normal, delicate, heavy duty, pretty easy to understand. But then there's also more obscure terms like perm press, rinse and spin, which aren't all the cycles rinsing and spinning the clothes. And for me, the endlessly confusing option of hand wash, which is like, hey, you're a machine, you have no hands, how dare you lie to me? So you pick the setting that best matches what the tag on your clothing says, you load in the soap, and from there your laundry machine gets to work, agitating those clothes, water, and soap together. Agitation is specifically an irregular, erratic movement rather than something rhythmic. This forces your clothes to rub against themselves and all their other friends in the wash to scrub out the stains. With front-loading washers, you are literally knocking the stains out of your clothes by smacking them along the bottom of the drum as they tumble around. This physical beating, though, can only do so much, which is why we also mix in detergents. Detergents make use of surfactants, which we talked about extensively in our Should You Wash Your Legs episode. Basically, these little molecules have a polar and a non-polar end, or another way of saying that is that they have a watery end and an oily end. And the watery end sticks to other water, and the oily end sticks to other oil. In the case of your clothes, oil has built up as sweat in the fibers, as dirt in the stains, or in other places like dead skin cells. So when the oily end of the detergent washes over them, the detergent sticks to the oil on your clothing and lifts it out of the fibers. The watery end then gets picked up by the water swirling around, and all that dirt and grime are carried away down the drain. That's not all. Many detergents and laundry sprays are also loaded with enzymes to help break down the stains that have a more complex chemical structure and are thus harder to remove from the fabric. So with all these fancy surfactants and enzymes showing off their stain-fighting power, the only thing we have left to ask is, how are they doing? The answer is, not as well as you'd hope. Let's start by looking at the first thing that you'd be hoping to get out of the whole laundry process. You know, clean clothes. Well, detergents can do a lot to make your clothes look clean by removing the appearance of dirt and stains. You know the one thing they're not built to do? Actually cleaning your clothes. As in, removing all the bacteria, germs, and viruses that you can't see on them. According to Tide.com, the website home for everyone's favorite detergent snack pod, there are three different levels of cleaning your laundry. Deep cleaning, sanitizing, and disinfecting. Generally, sanitizers reduce the number of certain bacteria by up to 99.9%, while disinfectants kill bacteria and other germs like viruses. And by law, any products that brand themselves as sanitizers or disinfectors are going to be regulated by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. Deep cleaning, meanwhile, is everything we just talked about. Detergent plus water plus agitation. And right there on the website, boom! Deep cleaning does not kill germs. That's not a theory. That is a fact. Oh, sure, they're removing...